Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today is going to be a rather quick one as I'm going to be covering a mechanic file that I actually used in my last tutorial, but we're going to be utilizing it to kind of reformat and make it easier for some people to read. Now, one of the newer things of Mythic Mobs, this is, uh, I guess it's relatively old uh, now, but in my opinion it's still relatively new, is the new formatting of skills that utilize uh, I guess multiple skills inside of them. For example, projectiles, missiles, chain, aura, literally all of that stuff that can have multiple skills inside of it. Um, there's a new way that you can format all of it. So uh, let's all right, let's just go ahead and jump right into it because I, I think you're gonna I think you're going to really enjoy this. So if you remember last, we had our cast mob here, and we're gonna go ahead and spawn him in real quick just so that way we can. Um, you know, we can utilize everything and make sure it's working correctly. So now that now that our cast mob is there, what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and comment this out and we're gonna do this little by little. So first you need to type your skill, your very basic thing, and type your curly bracket. What's really cool now is we can actually utilize a full column, uh, column style. I don't know what it's called, but column style of just typing things out one by one by one without having to actually make a skills file um, if you don't want to. I think that's gonna be fantastic, so I would really love to show this to you. So just to prove my point, we're gonna go ahead and close out of cast skills. Okay, so now that we have this, when you press enter, make sure to press space twice so that way everything that you do from here will be underneath this cast thing, um, this cast mechanic. So next, we can do skill name equals. We're gonna. We're basically just retyping everything here. So um, if you do get a little bit lost, that's where I'm pulling everything from. Explode. Okay. Duration equals sixty. Okay. So before I go any further, if you can't already tell, there is something wrong with this. If, you, uh, if you're able to guess or you already are familiar with this format, you know it's going to be the semicolons. Even though we're doing it in a up and down format where everything just goes, you know, we press enter, type a new one, enter, new one, enter, new one, uh, we do still have to use the semicolons because the way this file is read, it still breaks it up into segments like this. So it's very important to make sure that you have those semicolons in there after each individual um, mechanic option. So now that we got that, let's go ahead and use our first skill based, um, I don't know if this would be considered a meta skill, but we're gonna go ahead and call it that. So our first meta skill here. So we have on cast, and now instead of using our normal um, curly brackets like we use up here, we're gonna press equals, and then we're gonna use a square bracket. From there, we're gonna press space twice again, and on these, we do have to utilize the dashes again as if we're writing out new skills. Um, that, that's just how it gets read, so it's very important to keep that in mind. So what we're going to do, if you remember what we did for Cast Explode, we used particles and we used a sound effect. So we're going to do effect particles p equals large ex explode a equals 1, y equals 1, at self. Now what's really cool is when you're inside of these square brackets, you don't have to use commas at the end of these, you don't need to use semicolons, you just list them off as you want them to be read. You will still have to use these dashes though, like I said, so make sure to keep that in mind as you write these out. Next we're going to do sound, s equals um, entity.generic.explode itself. Okay. So once that's done, go ahead and press enter. It should take you right here to the beginning of the dashes. You're gonna do that right square bracket. And then as we mentioned above, every time you add a new option or continue on, you need to add a semicolon. So we're gonna add a semicolon here, press enter, get rid of two spaces. So that way we are back in line with these other options here. Uh, it's very important to stay in line because otherwise your file will get messed up and it will take a long time to debug it if you are not familiar with this. So next, we have on interrupted. 
again, we're gonna do equals left curly bracket, or sorry, left square bracket, double space. And then we're gonna do sound s equals block dot fire dot extinguish at self. And then we're gonna go ahead and close it off. Okay, press uh, get rid of two more spaces. And then we're gonna look at a couple other ones. So cancel on take damage. Um, can I can't type on t take damage equals true semicolon and then I think the last one we had was just show cast bar yeah so show cast bar true okay so you don't need to add a semicolon at, at the end of this one um, because we're actually done so you don't have to uh, put it down here unless it's just easier for you to read you can actually leave this curly bracket at the end of your very last option and then proceed to fill it out as normal on interact so now so all of this right now is still under this cast skill and once you're done with that you can press enter and then you can start a new skill yet again right below it this is a very very useful format and just to show you guys that it does work we're gonna go ahead and save we're gonna reload and look at that Bam. Now, just in case you think it's still running this one, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one so I can show you guys that that is not the case. And we'll even do this. We'll even do remove at self, so that way it seems like it's actually exploding. Okay, so now that we're reloaded, right click, punch. We are interrupting him. Now let's go ahead and let him finish. Kaboom. So there you have it. You can see first and foremost how that works. Uh, if you if you like that block format, uh, I highly recommend utilizing it inside of your mob skill file. It actually makes life pretty easy. Uh, you actually you can use it inside of a uh, normal skill file too. Say you're using like the uh, random skill mechanic and you have like skill you know skill one, skill two, etc. Uh, you definitely don't want to have this chilling in your mob file as that can take up a lot of space and it can also just kind of it, it can kind of throw you off if you're trying to use this within a random skill uh you know situation but if you're not you can just use it as is and like i said it's it's very helpful you can literally just kind of list everything uh and it just it just works and it's so great because it's a really really easy easy uh, way to read your skills if you do it that way you don't have to write pages on pages or skills on skills of new things you can literally just write everything that you want to happen within the on cast or on interrupted or literally any other part of whatever mechanic you use such as aura projectile or missile chain literally anything that has multiple meta skill options so I hope this helped everybody out. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well for more future content. There's always stuff on the way, no matter how long it takes. There will always be something eventually coming out. Sorry about that. Uh, so <laughs> thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.